a house that Donald Trump couldn't buy, circa 1991. In 1990s, Donald Trump's empire took on a stubborn widow named Vera Koking and lost. Female Soviet partisans operating under Sitter Kopak in German-occupied Ukraine. War World II. Grumman F9F5 Panther undergoing engine maintenance, 1950s. Mexican Army during the Tlatelolco Massacre, 1968. West African troops playing deck hockey with naval soldiers on board HMS Khadib en route to Burma, April 1945. Citizens duck for cover as British soldiers open fire on those taking part in Catholic Civil Rights March, killing 14. Derry, Northern Ireland. January 1972. A Circassian school in the Ottoman Empire, at the Black Sea coast around 1900. High school girls learn the art of automobile mechanics. Left to right Grace Heard, Evelyn Harrison, and Karina Di Julian, with Grace Wagner, under car. The Freestanding Tour St. Jacques, by Charles Soulier, 1867. Superheater tubes and boiler flues, CO-T-1, 3020 boiler explosion, 1948. Three Soviet women guerrillas in action in Russia during World War II. Unemployed Americans of Great Depression, 1930s, by early 1933, more than 12 million people, or 25% of eligible Americans, were unemployed. Evening on the cruiser Kalinin. The Soviet Pacific Fleet, 1955. A human-powered tractor for moving heavy stones, England, circa 1880. Doring and other Nazi officials look across the English Channel at the cliffs of Dover, the closest they would ever get to invading Britain, July 1, 1940. After the Armistice Agreement, North and South Korean soldiers stand guard at the 38th parallel, Korea 1953. Typical grocery store queue in Vilnius, the capital of current Lithuania, 1990 during the USSR consumer goods shortage. Civil War veteran Samuel Decker built his own prosthetics after losing his arms in combat. Date unknown. John Mice was tarred and feathered in Minnesota during World War I, see in 1917-18, for not supporting war bond drives. Dr. John B. Watson and Rosalie Rayner studying the grasp reflex of a newborn baby. Baltimore. CA 1916-1920. Police officers patrolling during fires following the San Francisco earthquake in 1906.